Welcome to CAU TV Newsbreak. I'm Derek Lyles. Yesterday marked the one-year anniversary of the shooting death of 88-year-old Katherine Johnston. Johnston was the victim of a botched drug raid at her Neal Street home in Atlanta. Atlanta Police Chief Richard Pennington issued a report card a day before the year mark to document the progress made since the fatal shooting. Some community leaders applauded what they see as improvements already being made during the last year, but say more needs to be done to make the community safer. On Monday, a federal judge ordered two of the former narcotics officers involved in the shooting to report to federal custody. They face sentencing on voluntary manslaughter and civil rights conspiracy charges. Clark Atlanta University's Mass Media Arts Department has made a change in its curriculum. Newsbreak asked students how they feel about the changes. I think it's great. Some of the changes that they made are absolutely necessary. For example, advanced English and grammar. We all need that regardless if we're going to radio, TV, film, or PR. So it's good. I'm just glad I'm about to graduate before I could take advantage of it. I think it's really good that they are um, increasing the uh, standards and requirements for the Mass Media Arts Department. I think it's good that uh, they're requiring that students uh, at least have three internships under their belt as well as uh, take classes in the editing lab. I think it ensures that students come out of the mass media uh, department uh, knowledgeable about what they, uh, what they plan to pursue as a career and uh, make sure that they know everything that they need to know as a mass media art student. So I think it's a great, a great, um, a great uh, extension. It's calm building is a very, is a very positive thing. The students um, will be taking editing classes, which is a very positive thing because we had to take workshops. Now it's required. Like everybody will graduate and will know how to um, edit. Um, they take an advanced English class, which is a positive thing because they saying students that's coming in do not know how to write. So I think that's a very good thing. Headed to the airport this evening? Stay with us to hear about an update on holiday travel at Hartsfield Jackson. <music> Both are ideas from the minds of African Americans. Support the United Negro College Fund because a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Mom? Dad? How long should I wait for you? If I'm at soccer practice. What if something happens? Will you come get me? There's no reason not to have a plan in case of a terrorist attack. Should we go to the neighbor's house? And some extremely good reasons why you should. Can you tell me? Talk to your family about what you would do in case of an emergency. For more information, visit www.ready.gov. This is a busy week for airport travelers in the U.S. and especially at the world's busiest airport, Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson International. Airport manager Ben DeCosta says passenger volume is expected to be up 4.5% over last year's Thanksgiving holiday. In anticipation for the increase, DeCosta says all security gates will be attended. Today, some 280,000 travelers are expected to show up for the outbound travel. Last year, 1.7 million people moved through the Atlanta airport during the Thanksgiving holiday period. Thanksgiving is a holiday where families get together and give thanks over dinner. CAU TV's Newsbreak finds out what students are doing for the holiday and what they're thankful for. So, um, I'm going to go to my friend's house like I do always. I mean, like I do every year. I don't go home. It don't make sense. And um, that's probably about it. Just go to my friend's house and have dinner with her family and eat. I'm blessed to be with my family and all the people that love me. And, you know, just have the fixings and be thankful for everyone that is here for their education and that God has made a way for each one of them to reach their desire and dreams and their total purpose in life through Christ. I'm not going home to California, so I figure I'd spend some time with family here. Thankful to be able to like eat with someone. I know freshman year I thought I wasn't going to be able to sit down and eat with my family mm. or anything like that, so I'm glad I have somebody to sit down with this year or whatever. I'm thankful that my family, despite everything, everybody I've been through, I'm thankful that we still can come together and cook and have a good time. So I'm thankful for that. We all here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm originally from California, so it's going to be a new change for me. I am thankful for waking up every day that God allows me 